He is Mr. P. C. Agarwal. He is a senior scientist. He is from the Department of Science and Industrial Research. It comes under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Here, what we are seeing is the kiln in which firewood are laid in rows that are going to be burnt inside. Air is blown through these pipes with the help of the blowers. We can see the holes through which air is blown inside during the time of combustion. While burning this, combustion takes place inside the kiln. The smoke that emerges out will pass through the pipes which are connected to the cooling towers which is known as condenser. Water is circulated around the pipes in the condenser. Below the condenser, there is a room to collect the tar which is a byproduct in this project. From the condenser, the gas is passed through a scrubber and a filter to purify the impurities in the gas. Inside the kiln, the temperature is 1000 degrees centigrade during combustion. Then it is reduced to 75 degrees centigrade. The smoke that emerges out is passed through combustion zone, reduction zone, pyrolysis zone and drain zone. In the pyrolysis zone, the carbon dioxide is reduced to carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Now the kiln is closed. The kiln is loaded with 300 kilograms of firewood for the process of combustion. This wood which is used as the raw material is converted into charcoal of high quality after combustion. So after combustion the smoke that emerges out is sent through the condenser for condensation. Here the hot smoke gets condensed and the smoke is converted into combustible gas. You can see the gas burning with yellow flame. This shows that the gas is in combustible state. After this the gas is passed through a scrubber and a filter to clean the impurities in it. Now we can see the gas burning in blue flame which shows that the gas is pure and ready for combustion. This quality gas is given as the main fuel to engine. Now the engine is to be started using this gas. The electric power supply is obtained from the engine to glow the electric lights. In this process, with this capacity of fuel, a 10 kilowatt engine is made to run continuously for 10 hours, producing a power capacity of 6000 watts. Now we can see the charcoal obtained from this wood after combustion. This is the main advantage 
of this project thank you